Australian Muslim student allegedly forced to watch Muhammad cartoon. A Melbourne school is under fire for allegedly forcing a Muslim high school student to watch a cartoon depicting Prophet Muhammad, prompting an investigation from the Victorian state government. A teacher working for Mount Ridley College in, oh man, the names of these Australian towns is weird. Mount Ridley College in Crayburn? I don't know. Um, allegedly showed the material during a media lesson on October 14th. Depictions of the Prophet are forbidden in most denominations of Islam. The high school student's father said on Facebook that the cartoon caused, quote, painful psychological and mental trauma to his daughter. Quote, my daughter also tried to express her discomfort at the video, but unfortunately the teacher didn't care and continued to play the video, forcing my child to view that content. Um, some sources indicate that the students were warned first before seeing the material and were free to leave if they wished. The Muslim student spoke against the cartoon but did not leave the class and the teacher continued to show the material. Speaking to the Guardian and Daily Mail, the spokesperson for the Victoria Education Department said that the department began an investigation into the incident and promised to support students affected by the event. So, okay, there's some details that are not completely clear here. Like, was this student actually forced to watch this or were they given the opportunity to leave but then chose not to leave. It's not entirely clear. But this is pretty significant because in 2020, this is very similar to what led up to the beheading and murder of French civic teacher Samuel Paty, who was murdered after there was a rumor that spread on Facebook that he had forced children to see Charlie Hebdo cartoons of Prophet Muhammad in a lesson about free speech and secularism, and that, and and then a guy from Chechnya came and then beheaded this teacher on their campus. And the problem is, is that the whole story behind what happened with Samuel Paty turned out to be a lie. It wasn't even true. Like, the whole story that he was forcing students to watch this, blah, blah, blah. No, he gave students the opportunity to leave if they wanted. And if they didn't want, he was going to continue with the lesson as planned. And then they rumors did. spread on Facebook. A mosque amplified these rumors and had, like, hate speeches against him, essentially. And then it resulted in his death. And so, with this incident, I am naturally skeptical about what the narrative is. I mean, I know it's a different situation. It's a different country on the other side of the world. But we've seen before in the past how reports of these instances aren't even necessarily entirely true. The girl that in France who circulated this rumor basically did so because she was like influenced by her parents. To be like, yeah, you were so offended, right? You had you had you were forced to watch this, blah blah blah. So I'm a little bit skeptical when there's someone else's dad on Facebook talking about what happened. Like, I'm it's not entirely clear. But wait, go ahead. You go first. Now, do we know if <clears throat> the teacher gave the trigger warning for people to leave if they don't like to? There are. Did you want to see? different reports it's not entirely clear Th there is a counter report counter narrative that he did give a warning and he did allow students to leave if they want and that the student voiced that she didn't like it but continued to sit anyways there are some reports okay. of that okay if that's true then what, what the hell are you complaining about well, I mean, so, okay, let's just think theoretically, okay? People might be offended that this was shown at all. <clears throat> and this kind of content, this kind of material is apparently not <clears throat> typically within their curriculum, blah, blah, blah. And so now that they're doing a full review and they're not going to allow this kind of material in the curriculum, make sure it doesn't happen again, that kind of thing. Um, 
But I, I have a kind of a devil's advocate position. Go on. So if... Okay, let's Wait, say... Before, even if, before, before you do that, before you do that, I just was looking this, that's why I was like thinking, okay? In any university, okay? University of British Columbia, um, we were made <clears throat> to watch a movie called The Birth of a Nation. Mm. Okay? And, and this was English class. We watched the movie and we were supposed to write, do a write-up on it, okay? Um, after we watched it. And we watched it in class. They played it on screen, okay? Um, do you know what The Birth of a Nation is? Yeah. It's like one of the most racist movies ever made. <laughs> It is the, the most racist thing I've ever seen in my entire life, okay? On, 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 a, on a movie, okay? It's basically a pro-KKK movie. That's what it is. It's the propaganda of what, what, how it came about and why it's the best thing ever, okay? Um, and we watched that. We watched that, like, and, and we had black students. We had black students in class, okay? Um, nobody minded, but... But like it wasn't part of, it wasn't like the fixed part of the curriculum. Every teacher picked their own movie, or maybe not even a movie. Like I don't know. Like this was this teacher's picking. Like just because it's not part of the curriculum, it doesn't mean that oh, why are you showing that this is not part of the curriculum? Well, like the teacher has some flexibility and what they want to expose you to, to be you know, um, yeah. So I mean. If we, ha if I had to watch a pro KKK movie, okay, and do a write up on it, um, then you guys, this is nothing compared to that. Yeah. Okay, but what? Okay, people would say, well, that's different because you're in university. Okay, you're a legal adult. You have more autonomy. You're more. Oh, how, old were, how, how old were these kids? They're in high school. Okay, that's still, they're not that young. Okay. I know. Um, I mean, I agree, but I'm just, you know, thinking about how other, other people might phrase it. The other thing that I was going to say is that, okay, what if someone, Armin, makes the argument that, okay, even if the teacher gives the warning about what is going to be shown and allows children to and students to leave the classroom when this kind of content is being shown what what would you say to someone who says that actually these children are still forced to see the cartoon because as an adolescent you are hyper conscious of the judgment of your peers you might be worried about how if you leave it would change the opinion of your teacher towards you maybe they fe fear that it would change how their participation grade you know is considered um mm. and so because of the 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 social dynamics at play especially for someone as vulnerable as a teenager because we know psychologically teenagers are obsessed with social positioning it's just a fact um that it is still a form of coercion okay i would buy that argument if it was equally being implemented equally maybe maybe i don't know if i would buy that argument okay i have to speak to experts and stuff right education experts okay but if they say that and there's no outrage if all of a sudden the teacher comes and says like oh by the way muslims um the islamic religion is so beautiful you know what i mean um and no there's no backlash towards that or christianity for example right say for example the teacher comes and says by the way, um, Jesus loves you. I just want to let you guys all know. Jesus, Jesus loves you, okay? And you're like, hey, I'm offended about that. Why are you telling that to my kid? If a, if a parent comes and says, I'm offended that you told my kids that, oh, by the way, I just want to let you guys know that I'm a Muslim. That's right now is Ramadan and we're fasting. I just wanted to let you know that that's an information that you should not have, okay? And a parent came and said, like, hey, you shouldn't told have my kid that. My kid didn't, I don't like you to force this upon my kid or Jesus loves you. Um, if you don't, if, if you, if there's no outrage regarding that, but there's outrage here, then there's inconsistency. Okay. And how far do you want to police this? Because if you want to police this, then you have to police all of that. 
that the teacher can't say anything bad about Islam, anything good about Islam, anything bad about Christianity, anything good about Christianity. You have to be, you know, and then it would be a nightmare. Like, how are you going to police that? Wait, but that's not addressing my point, which is more towards the experience of the student. Like a student might not well, feel, they might want to refuse to watch it, but they might not feel able to refuse to watch it. Do you see what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Because it would be- Techn Technically kinda, they're kinda allowed, like, but they fear like what social they consequences. So in reality, right. they don't yeah. feel like they are able to kinda, refuse. Kind of like when we complain when there's a class prayer and the teacher says, if you don't want to pray, you can step outside. I mean, like, that's not how it works. If the kid step outside, he's going to be ostracized and see it mm -hmm. seen as different. Different, right? exactly. It's yeah. exactly. Okay. Yeah, I see your point. I see your point. Um, okay. Based on that, I would say that maybe I would agree that in high school, this shouldn't be shown. Okay. But in university, you then you're like you know then you're then you're an adult like if you like yeah hey, i i feel bad to pick it up. like come on like like maybe well and also okay, you, i mean in america university has become extremely intellectually coddled okay but university is supposed yeah. to be the place where you're challenged okay intellectually. okay fair 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 point okay i would agree that maybe you shouldn't be showing as, as a way to be fair to muslim students who might feel too pre too much pressure you know, because they're still kids, I would agree that maybe in high school you shouldn't be showing these things, but you shouldn't be complaining about it if it's been showing, been shown in a university. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's difficult when you're an adolescent, and you're for right, all the reasons right. I just outlined. But at the same time, I still feel like it's worthwhile to discuss these things with young adults. You're right. I changed my opinion. You're right. I'm goodness. No, no. I mean, but Armin, at the same time, part of me is like, I think it could be valuable to have these conversations. No, in, no, too late. These too late to change my mind. High too schoolers. late. No, too late because you're right. Because I we made the same argument for when there's class prayers, right? Uh, players in class. So, mm, yeah, and you want you want the high you want the place to be welcoming to even Muslim students. You don't want to stress out Muslim students. You want them to be able mm -hmm. to feel like we're yeah yeah. You want you want Muslim students to feel this is how you separate Muslims and uh, from the rest of society by making them feel like these environments are not welcoming to them, right? I think by university you have to understand that uh, society is not going to like just coddle to you every time, right? But I think when you're in high school, it's too soon for that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. I, I'm uh, a little bit torn though because I I think, especially in the upper levels this? of being a high school. I'm not even going to answer this question. What the <laughs> hell, look at weirdo! What a weirdo! God damn it! Okay. Pakistani Defense yeah. Force is asking Armin, is it okay to force students yeah. to watch prawn too? adult video yeah. content too what does that have to do with anything <laughs> god damn it sometimes sometimes okay never mind i'm i'm not, I'm not gonna rent right now okay <sighs> you're like uh, where, where is this even coming from <laughs> oxymoron i disagree with you saying no need to discuss people figure out stuff eventually no purpose for of government funded schools what, <laughs> what is it? This in is your, one of your dumbest takes yet. There's no purpose to government-funded education. No purpose to government-funded education. You, okay. like, we discuss so many social uh, uh, aspects of life in university. I don't know. Have you not been to a university, Oxymoron? Like, we discuss, like, cultural uh, uh, events. We talk about um, movies, theater. We talk about the He's influence on... He's not talking about university. He said no purpose of government funded schools at all no like we, we these are important things and we discussed the nuance and details of these things in university that's the whole point of university i don't know our schools Herman, i'm saying yeah. it's broader than university he's saying schooling in general yeah like in high school you go and people like for example in you talk about 
cultural stuff that is affecting society a lot. You have to talk to the kids. You have to talk to high school students about that. You have to talk to this is this is where else would you let, where else would you have nuanced discussions about this? Where so you want the high school kids to have new figure these things out on social media? You have to, if 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 high school and university is not a place for you to be create a more stronger base for you to be able to have these discussions in a more, much more um, constructive way. Then what the whole point? You know, what's the point of these places, right? Anyways. You know, I for uh, one value having a literate nation, <laughs> so I am for free education. Yeah, I think oxymoron thinks like high school is just where you go learn math and science and chemistry, and then that's it, right? I don't think so. I think it's good to, if your teachers give you tools um, in how to deal with other stuff in life, or you don't want to you don't want to build an army of robots that just know how to work, right? You also want to build a a society that handles conversations like this a lot more maturely. So I think it makes well, you sense. You also for need to imbue the values <clears throat> that you want to maintain in the citizenry. Yeah, yeah. In an educated yeah. way at an early age. Exactly. Exactly. This is why you should teach them about LGBT stuff at school. Ah, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> this is why you need to tell kids kids okay not even high school students okay from elementary okay that what trans people are a thing okay and you have okay. to deal with it and yeah you have to you know just make your conservative parents angry that's that there's two benefits for to uh, when it comes to teaching kids about lgbt stuff right first of all they will handle societal uh, issues like that a lot better okay they will also become a more a lot more accepting but that the cherry on top is that you make their conservative parents angry. Okay. That's the number one benefit you get from that. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay I can priceless. already see the comment section now just filled with a groomer. <laughs> that's priceless. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have another Muhammad pick. You're so childish. <laughs> 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 Taking shots at conservative, like out of left field, this entire mm. show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, Podcast on Defense Force is saying that's social engineering, engineering, Armin. But exactly, engineering it for the better. You're making society, it, it, is it improving society is engineering society, but you're engineering it for the better. Okay, so you're making a more loving and more accepting society. If that's what you mean by social, social engineering, then I'm all for it. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.